Hi Josh, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Your manager's been talking you up a bit this week. How, how nice is that to hear? Ah, it's brilliant. You know, when you're, you're putting in hard work and uh, you know, playing games, it's good to hear that the manager's uh, thinking highly of you. So it's a big confidence boost in myself and you know, proves that the hard work's paying off. How important has he been in your development this season? Ah, brilliant. The, the gaffer, the support from all the management team and all the coaching staff just been unbelievable. That's that's been overwhelming. It's been just helping me along the way, helping me through, you know, the, all the small stuff and you know, talking to you, helping you through things. Not it's it's brilliant. Did you expect to get as, as many opportunities as you have? N not really. Coming in from lockdown, you know, I was you know with the obviously with Queens Park and then coming in and you know starting the first game of the season. It's just can been taken from there but you can't really you know stop to think about things you need to just keep going and it's not something I really think about it's take take every game as it comes so yeah and you've had a bit of help I, I gather from some of the experienced guys in the team what, what have they been telling you and helping you out with uh, well from all of them obviously Big Daz was in at the weekend and the, the enthusiasm he gave us before the game having that armband was, was unbelievable and having Big Daz in the team as well he was such an imposing character playing in the middle of the three and it's good. He's just you have so much trust in him to, to win every ball because of the size of him and the pace of him, even at that age. And obviously, I've got Louis, Holly, all the, all the older players, Dave as well, just helping me through. You know, giving me tips and pointers at, at every corner. So it's it's no better place for my development for with uh, for the old players' help. Thank you. No problem. Uh, Josh, there's um, been some fairly decent names um, linked with you um, this week. Is, um, has this been something a bit different from you, all this sort of speculation coming your way? Yeah, it's crazy seeing your name everywhere, but uh, you know, if, uh, it's good to know that if all the hard work I'm putting in has is, is given me all that, that attention to the big clubs and stuff. It's, cra it's crazy for me. I'm, I'm still not really hit, but you know, it, it's good to obviously a few other players as well. We're all, we're all over the place, but no, it's good to see you when you're, when you're working hard, all these big names um, are, are shown interest, so it's good. And for you, like you were obviously at Queen's Park not too long ago, and for to go from where you've been to where you are now, um, James Tavern, you're sick of the city, it must be quite a rise. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's good to know that like if you put in the hard work, no matter where you start, you'll you uh, what's for you won't go by you if you if you put the hard work in and uh, to see all these big teams and that's not it's brilliant. It's, it's unbelievable. I I know you mentioned a couple of your teammates there. Um, just how key is it, especially with the window just coming to a close, that you sort of you keep all your big stars as you push for third? Uh, obviously, well, it's it's obviously the last few results we've had haven't been the best. So I think it's uh, it's something we can't for for anyone that's you know in talks or whatever. We can't really get distracted by that because we know the game's coming up. We need to win. You know, try and keep our place in the table and and try and get far up as the table as we can. So it's uh, obviously it's brilliant having all these. The, your name everywhere and stuff, but you kind of like like distract you. You need to you need to keep focused on the, the job at hand. So nothing to get distracted by. Just it's, it's obviously good, but you need to um, need to focus on the, the games coming up because obviously big big three points that we need to get. Josh, there's obviously a couple of good examples for you playing in your position down in the Premier League right now, and Andy Robertson and Kieran Tierney that they've showed that you know guys from Scotland can sort of go down south and make it. I mean, how much of a an inspiration of the likes of those two for, for you? Oh, massive. I, I try and watch them as much as I can, just obviously through positions and, um, you know, the things they're doing, they're both absolutely flying at the moment. It's, they're, they're such an inspiration for young Scottish players, mm -hmm. especially playing my position as well. It's uh, can't get any better than that. So, uh, no, watching them, seeing what they're doing, is it's unbelievable. And, uh, no, it's trying to base as much of my game off theirs as, as possible because they're doing something right. I suppose your ambition long term will be perhaps get yourself down there competing with them in the Premier League and, and also for Scotland as well. I think that's that's everyone's goal, is it not? But uh, no, definitely. But at the moment, just just keeping my head down and, and trying to get as many games as possible this uh, this season because try not to take anything for granted. Because you know, two years ago, we getting released from from a club, and now I'm here. It's just all of it. Just seems like all of a sudden I'm, I'm here, but I can't let anything get distract distract me. Um, so you keep pushing forward. Who did you read about the interest? Was it did you read the papers or did somebody sort of flag it up to you? The Arsenal, the, the Chelsea links, Celtic. Just, just yeah, I'm just going on Twitter and then you scroll through it, you see your name and it's like, oh, what's going on here? It's just it's, it's, mad, it's still madness. I can't get over it, but no, it's cool. It's cool to see. You know my pal sent me and stuff. So no, it's it's cool to see. You don't look like the type of guy that's going to let this sort of 
get to your head? I mean, you seem pretty sort of pretty grounded. Yeah, no, nah, I know, I know, I can't. I know, I know. There's always speculation about players, and I just take it as a as a, as a positive for myself because if it means I'm obviously doing something right here. So I know Hibbs is such a big stepping stone. Obviously, for like John McGinn getting moves down there and stuff. So, and it obviously positive for me. Obviously, doing something something right, but can't let it get as I say, can't let it distract me. Keep pushing forward. Has the manager had to speak to you about it and just you know give you some advice on how to handle all the sort of interest that's in you at the moment? Uh, not at the moment. I've, I, it's kind of just been it's kind of new. So I've uh, I'm not in any chats from yet, but it might be in the, the coming future. Best luck. Cheers. Do you just sort of treat it as speculation at the moment, or have you heard of sort of specific scouts from specific clubs watching you, or ha- had anything firm confirmed about interest? Yeah, it's nothing. I don't. I've well, I've not heard anything really confirmed yet, but uh, I think it was all just speculation at the moment. So nothing properly heard yet. Yeah, and um, you mentioned that it's everyone's um, ambition to to move to the, the Premier League. Um, where do you see yourself in two or three years' time? Just hopefully playing at the highest level I can, highest capabilities of uh, my ability. Uh, as long as as long as I'm playing football somewhere and uh, I'm fit, I'd, I'd be happy. No matter how high up in the game I am, no matter where I am, as long as I'm playing football, I'll be happy. Yeah, and I mean, you mentioned that um, not long ago you were playing for Queens Park. Um, did you? Did you just, when you were playing at Queen's Park, that you would uh, come into the uh, Hibs team so quickly and you've, you've practically displaced uh, Lewis Stevenson, haven't you, from the um, from being first choice? I, I wasn't expecting it. I, you know, I was playing at Queen's Park and then I was playing at teams last season for a bit and then in a few games with the development squad. And, uh, you know, obviously you always want to try and push for a, a first team spot. But myself, I always, I always had that ambition. I always, that was always my goal. It was always my drive. But... Um, you know, I, I didn't really think that's obviously that's where I wanted to be. But coming after Queen's Park, after the lockdown, I knew I just had to get my head down and, and work as hard as I could. And obviously, lockdown was hard trying to keep myself fit, trying to do the right things. But, you know, I think I've done it to the best of my capabilities. And, you know, it helped me it helped me massively coming back in. And of course, Andy Robertson was at Queen's Park and look where he is now. So, um, do you see yourself sort of, uh, moving the same path as he did? Oh, I'm sorry, I can... do, do, do you see yourself sort of moving the same path from uh, Queen's Park up to the uh, Premier League like he did? Yeah, I hope that wouldn't mind being the same path as him. Like, he's, he's had what career he's had already. But um, no, I if, if, if I could copy that path, it would be brilliant. But uh, we'll just see what happens. Obviously, got a few big games ahead this season. And obviously, I wouldn't take it for granted that I'm here at Hibs and I'm, I'm starting, you know, a lot of games, so it's, it's brilliant. It's overwhelming for me still. So um, I can't focus too far ahead. I think we just need to, obviously, a big game on Saturday as well. So we just need to take, um, take it easy. Great. Thanks very much. Josh, what do you think has been key to your to your form this season? You seem to play with a real sort of fearlessness and ambition going forward. Uh, just, I think, you know, at the start of the season, there was a lot of things that I had to really improve on. And there's still even, there's even more things that you prove on now. I'm, you know, only 18, there's so much things that you work on. But that's when it's it's good to have people like Louie and stuff who've played that position for so long. And they're, they're so good at what they do to, to help me through. And, you know, getting pointers from them, getting tips from some of the, the senior players. And then, obviously, trying to do as much as I can after training. Of, you know, just as much crossing, as much passing, you know, as much extra stuff as I, as, as I can, just to, to give my edge and the... No, I, I feel I do feel I feel confident now. You know, obviously I had to be spelled out of the team, and uh, I think that gave me even more time to to you know sort of take a breath because and look back at what I'd done at the start of the season because obviously I played all the games, and then I took a little dip in confidence and I I, I kind of took a step back and came to the team and it was I think it was the best thing for me, and uh, obviously obviously got a lot of games still to come up so hopefully featuring as many names as I can and, and just keep going just. Playing, trying to play with that fearlessness because you know, as as Louis said to me, before you know it, it's such a short career, and if if you play with fear, if you play, if you hide from the ball and stuff, it's not it's not going to get you anywhere. And if you look back and say you've not gave it, you know, you're all it's you know it's it's not a good thing. So just trying to do as much as I can as I've got everything in front of me just now. Yeah, you mentioned that period that you were out with the team. What was the manager saying to you during that period? 
it was just I'd probably just say what he'd say to most people when you when you go to a team, just just keep your head down, keep focused, don't um, don't lose the head. You know, train, make sure you're as good as you can be in training and then as as I'd probably have that bit more more energy as I was losing it from the games, you know, I could have been doing that bit more after training and you know, doing that bit more extra fitness work and stuff. So I think it helped me massively and definitely in the in the gym as well, doing much more in the gym. Because obviously when you're playing games, you know, if there's a midweek game as well, you've not got time to really get into the gym as much and, and do as much because obviously you're you're much more fatigued. But uh, it definitely helped me, you know, building myself up a bit more and uh, filling out. Just just looking ahead to tomorrow as well, what, what do you expect from Dundee United? Um. Obviously, they've got a lot of energy. We've played against them before this season, and it's it's never an easy game. So, just like any other game, we need to go in with you know, focus and, and drive and have that work ethic about us to, to go and win this game. So, it's a, it's a massive three points. We know what the table's like at the moment, really tight. So, no, we need to start um, getting back to winning ways, definitely.